Hello, welcome to Whiskey Advent 2020. This is day 23. We are the barbers and we're Hello. in our very small kitchen doing some uh, Christmas dinner prep because we are in the thick of it because it's legitimately December 23rd. We did not do this one early. This is the second to last day. Kind of bittersweet. Yeah. We have chosen a compass box selection. And we have mentioned compass box probably several times. Careful, that's, I've been cooking stuff on that stove. That Sorry. might be dangerous. So compass box, they don't distill. They are whiskey makers. So they blend. They get scotches of all types from across the, the islands. Did that sound Scottish? Yeah, it did. Oh, indeed. That's probably British. Um, and they just blend and mix and- Experiment. Experiment. And and they really put out some fabulous Special. things. We, um, a few years ago, we, you know, we'd heard of Compass before Box. Before our fifth child was born. Yes, before our fifth child was born. Uh, the, um, we've got a lovely bar downtown called Scotch and Soda. And they were putting, prior to COVID, they put on some little fun events. So we went to a Compass Box event. They served us dinner and, uh, a dude from Compass Box, a British dude. What do you mm -hmm. call him that? Sales yeah. rep. -ish. Sale, yeah, just, yeah. Some a brand of, ambassador. Brand ambassador, that sounds, yes, yes, yes. So anyhow, he presented us with some various Compass Box um, whiskeys. We had a lovely dinner, and we really have loved Compass Box since then. Uh, we liked Compass Box before that, but we really fell This was early in my whiskey time, because this would have been yes. May. <laughs> May of 2018, and I only started drinking whiskey in about January, February of 2018. So it was er correct. early in my adventure. Um, but after this, I, I, got, I got a real appreciation for Compass Box. They take... Why do you appreciate Compass Box? Because they're creative, they're fun, they're interesting, and their products are very tasty. Why is this selection so creative? because they got input from various folks. It was like a contest. Yeah, so there was a contest and they asked bartenders around the world to submit to the contest. I'm gonna be cutting some Brussels sprouts while he's talking. The winner chose this blend as the compass box circle. And they'll probably do this again in the future. Because this is what, like number one? Number or... one, yeah. This okay. is the first ever re edition of the circle that they've done. And, and they do this sometimes with products. Like, for example, there was one they called No Name. Uh, they had a No Name One, and then we have the No Name Two. We so... No Name One. No, it's two. When you look at the label, it's two. Okay. Well, the bottle broke, so we don't. Know. The bottle, I. Uh... Yeah. Yes, long, Anyways, long what we story. love about Compass Box, and especially this one, they're experimental. They choose different barrels from all around the world. They're blenders exclusively, no distillery. Um, and that's okay. That Again, is very we don't have okay. A problem with that. Which means everything they do is unique. Even their hedonism, which has been around for 20 years, their no name. Their Oak Cross Spice Tree and Spice Tree, very good. And what is the other one with the the wine? Spaniard. One, Spaniard. Oh gosh, talk about some quality whiskey. Very affordable, a little high, but very like always available and very affordable. We love always love. Available? Well, some of their yeah. stuff is not like you can get Circle. You could probably still get some. Some of the things are yeah. available. Why they available. So Most of the example, things are very available and very affordable. They had a 20th anniversary because this year is their 20th anniversary of That's their, true. Um, well, With the company. John Glazer calls it hedonism. The rest of us would call it hedonism. One of their their original, I think that was their original their first product. Ever, yeah, their first ever product, hedonism. And they created one called hedonism felicitas that was a 20th anniversary, and Blake Barber because he's he's a cool dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there were only six bottles. Could you, could you not point the knife? Oh, sorry. While pointing, telling me yeah. I'm cool dude. Yeah. There were only six bottles released in Arkansas. And we got two of them. 
Actually, one of them we got from Missouri, didn't we? We did. Okay, so we got one from Missouri and one of the six from Arkansas. And one's already finished. It was... It was finished so quickly. The most it is delicious. It's like one of the most delicious things we've ever had. Uh, a, a easily a top 10 whiskey oh, ever. So and it will nev we'll never have it again. It was that good. And it's on the note... the anniversary? Yeah, yeah shall we? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm getting carried away here. We yeah. love Compass Box. We do. I love the grain. Fruits. I love the absolute just grainy. Fruity. What kind of fruit? And that's what you know about Comes Box is they're grainy because they have to choose barrels that other people don't want. So all those grain whiskeys that Scotland doesn't like because they like single malt. And that was part of um, John Glazer, who's their chief mm -hmm. dude who started the company. He used to work. Who do you used to work for? Jim Johnny Bain? Walker. Johnny Walker. Also a blender. Okay. And so. He, he's been in the booze for and years. And he's American, which is really but odd. But he's been living in England and Scotland for years. Yes. Um, he decided when he was working for Johnny Walker, like, great whiskey's great. What's what's the problem here? And that's where right. he kind of got the idea that, yes, single malts are great too, but there's all this other stuff that's great. And that's where he got the idea to kind of start his own company to a blend different grain whiskeys and malt whiskeys. They did all the whiskeys. What are you getting on the nose? Well, sorry, going back to that. I'm definitely getting that traditional scotch smell. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what you call but it. But it's mixed with like- But there's fruitiness it's here. It's mixed with like a cereal because of all the grains. It's like mm -hmm. multiple grains and you can tell. Almost getting a little, uh... yeah, getting the grains. A little marshmallow. A little marshmallow. A little marshmallow. Yeah, let's see. Lucky Charms. Probably some Lucky Charms. That's like <laughs> mm. definitely getting. I mean, this is another oily one with like crazy amounts yeah. of legs. And you notice the mm. color; it's, it's Hold on. very bright. I'm getting something here. I'm not going to put my finger on it or my tongue on it or whatever you want to call it. No banana, no musty funk on this one. It's really good. Yeah. You said marshmallow. 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 I on think, the nose. I mean like a, on the nose. Yeah, like a toasted marshmallow. What do you get on the palate? It's hard to pick up. There's something. There's something. And that's what I was telling you. There's something I'm tasting and I can't quite... What is it that I'm tasting? I don't know. I, this is special. As are all Compass Box expressions. All Compass Box is special. And they've got a wide range. You can go from $40, but no more than about $160. That's what I love about them. They're available. You know you can get high, high quality high every time. Quality at $160 and you're not paying. And that's like a special treat that you're getting. That's incredible. Barbara, what is that I'm tasting? There's, you're tasting it too, yes. and you're like, what is that? It's something. Not nutty. It is a little nutty. nutty? There's I want a little to say citrus. chestnut, which is a strange yeah. thing to say. There's a little citrus. Because it's been like the palate, 17 years since I've had a chestnut. Yeah. The palate is not overwhelming. It's subtle. There's a little uh I'm going to go with chestnut. A little bitter. The nose is incredible in this. Mm -hmm. When I lived in France, because I'm going to sound totes pretentious right now, this is back in 2003, I was a student there, and pretty much every town in France has a little, it's called a Marche de Noël, like a little Christmas market. And they've got all sorts of little outside booths, and they had literally someone roasting chestnuts over an open fire, which is in that Christmas song, yet I've never seen chestnuts in this country. And I was, I remember eating those chestnuts and that's, that's where I'm going That's back. where you're going? That's where I'm going. And now I want some roasted chestnuts. I don't know where I would get those. I guess we better head on over to France. Mm. Is there still a- Quick trip. <laughs> a quick trip on over to France for some roasted chestnuts. Anything on the finish? Getting linger? Not too much. No, not too much. This is very subtle. This is an elegant, uh, delicate 
expression. Maybe some spice and what spice? No, I'm just, there's definitely some spice. I'm off my game today. There's definitely some spice. Probably because I made some sangria and I was drinking that earlier. That's probably why I'm off my game. There's a certain <sighs> spice. Lots of marshmallow in the nose. It's incredibly, like it. incredibly marshmallowy. Yeah, definitely. Marshmallow and chestnuts and some sort of spice and some sort of fruit that I can't distinguish. Citrus, a little bit of fig, but yeah. not much, like, like a hint. That's what, there's like a like hint, hint of fruitiness, whether it's fig, date, something sort of yeah. dried and sort of, you know. But the nose lightly. is so incredible. The nose is so worth it. Mm. Anyways, what other compass box do you love? Besides the Hedonism Felicitas, which is amazing. Yes. Because I will say, so Blake bought it and they did a little um, virtual tasting. We participated and we're like, oh, this is delicious. And then one day he just comes out and he gives me a glass and was like, here, and I taste it. And I was like, what is this? This is like the best thing I've ever tasted. And sure enough, it was the Felicitas, so I know. Because I was given, it was given to me blind, blind. So I know it was good and I just wasn't kind of making it up in my head. Um, what other compass box do I, I really, I enjoyed the Spaniard. I love the Spaniard. And that was on the tip of my tongue right before you said that. Spaniard, good. About $70 worth every penny. No some name to, was some to keep around. Good no name too. is based on an Isla. And Which, really, really Of course really I'd love that. Yeah, really, really peaty great but that one is one that they have like coming and going it's just dis discontinued no name number two is discontinued because they do some i mean they have some regular products they keep and then they have ones they produce and then just kind of archive and it's done yeah. hedonism oak cross spice tree uh spaniard great the king rest. street the two great king streets they have great amazing great king street is forty dollars if that and one of them is based on Isla. The other one is based on Space Side, I believe. Don't quote me. And uh, it they're forty bucks. They're the best forty bucks you can spend in whiskey. Um, what else they have? Juveniles. This, juveniles. That's Rose probably, Banquet. Oh yes, Rose Banquet. Myths and Legends. There's those those are getting up there in price. Those are like we, the two hundred dollar range. Clearly, we buy a bottle of whatever Compass Box is available because we and really do love them. The thing about Compass Box them. is that there's no bottle over two hundred dollars, and for for a Scotch with who knows what age and what they're blending, the experimentation and all the the quality they put into it. It's such a value buy. It's not even funny because you might be getting 23, 20, 30 year old. So, oh scotch. yeah, so what's what's in the circle? Yes. Ah. Kleinelish? Yes, Kleinelish. Which um, is a space on? Highland. Highland. Okay. So, it's three Highlands in this and then uh, tar, Tardu? Tardu? T E R. Tandu. 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 Which is a space on, but a remember Tandu. space. T A M D H U. Tandu is 78%. Okay, so, so remember, Space Side is just a small portion of the large portion of Highlands that, because there's so many distilleries, they're their own region. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty, pretty And much then the rest Highland. of them, there's a Highland Park, there's a Highland Blend, which we don't know, and then the Klein Elish. Because they're very. Um, forthright. What's the word? Yeah. Very forthright. Because they're superficial. That's transparent. Very transparent about they where they source. They tell you the percentage of what and what they're doing is in and, there. And um, uh, this is this is so good. It is. It really is. This is classic compass box when I on the nose. Mm -hmm. So much grain. You're not going to be disappointed with a compass box. Right. Just like you're not going to be disappointed with a barrel. Just like you're not going to be disappointed with. Probably High West. Uh, the private select we had the other night. Oh, with Maker's, Maker's Mark. Mark. I mean, I don't know about, I don't think I've ever had just straight up regular Maker's Mark, but Maker's 46 and any of the private selects, you're not going to be disappointed with those. You shouldn't ever be disappointed with an Isla Scotch. So let me just put that out there. Mm -hmm. um, Lafroig is my jam. Lagavulin is Ron Swanson's jam. What's your jam? 
If you I were like to pick all. a scotch. Oh, I'd definitely go Cum's box. Oh, that's I'd smart. I'd definitely go Cum's box. Smart, yeah, smart. If I had to pick one scotch, one brand that I had to pick forever, it would be Cum's box. Yeah. Sometimes, well, <laughs> every now and again, when we go to Scotch and Soda, that Scotch bar in downtown Bentonville, they've got like a bajillion whiskeys. And so they, some of them are, they're like on little square shelves. And so Blake likes to play this game where he says, okay, if you were to choose the rest of your life, which shelf would you pick? And so we'll kind of be like, mm, okay, because there's certain bottles on one shelf, and certain bottles on this bourbon's shelf. bourbon's over here. Yeah, I mean, it's a Scotch half. bar, but they about all sorts of, all sorts of whiskey. So we like to play that game of, okay, if you could only pick one shelf for the rest of your well, life. they move stuff around. And so when they move stuff around, it's nice to go back in there. And it's uh, because of COVID, we hadn't gone back in there in a while. We've been there um, once in the past yeah. literally year. Yeah. My favorite place in the world. And I've only been once in the last year. Uh, and it's a couple of miles away from me. Yeah. Um, it's okay. It's a great game to it's go play. Game. And yeah, I think I would pick the Comus Box shelf. I think I would. I don't know what else would I pick. And you don't need to feel bad about that? No, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And I'll say this because Compass Box has been around for a little while. 20 years. Barrel not been around as much as, as long. High West not been around as long as long. And the Compass Box selections and what they produce, it's, it's fantastic. It is. They are. Blake does throw around the word fantastic a lot, but this one. in this case, we are just Compass Box fanboys and girls. We are Barrel fanboys and girls. We are yes. High West fanboys and girls, but I there's good reason yeah. for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, they take pride in what they do, and uh, I would love to drink this every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> Every yeah. day for the rest of your life. <laughs> uh, However, new, I probably would need to have some sangria once a year at Christmas time. Any new, uh, any other compass box that you really, really like? Well, we had the, um, so they also did the Pete Monster is one of their OGs, oh, yeah. originals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they did a and special it's had different variations, bottling yeah. called Pete Monster Arcana. Arcana. And we got that one recently-ish, a few good. months ago. I don't know how recently. Very good. Also, well, it's just so excited. Anytime they release something new, it's just exciting because you know you're gonna go and get something that's new and exciting. And quality. And quality. And someday we're gonna go to Scotland and we're gonna go visit some of these distilleries. Yeah. Uh, they also story. have, um, this is not a luxury whiskey. They still produce that or they is that do. one of the it's archived like, ones? comes out in every couple years. It's very good. Oh, Flaming Heart. Flaming oh, Heart. Flaming Heart. We ran out of that one, didn't we? No, we still have that one. Oh, do we? Yeah. Okay. Flaming Heart. Also based on Ohio. Extremely great. We could go on and on about Compass Clearly Box. Clearly we've droned on for 18 minutes and 26 seconds now. But it's okay. We Jeez. only have one day left. <laughs>